welcome back. So glad that you joined me today. Have you been made right? Now, that's a question for many people in today's world that they take a huge offense at. Because in the current times that we're living in, even to suggest that feels as though it's throwing everything off its axis. But even more than that, that means in suggesting that question that we have something wrong. You know, we continually forget that we are wrong. Whether we like to admit it or not, there is a problem within every single one of our lives. However, even with saying that, though that there is a problem, we know that there is a solution as well. That, so <clears throat> that solution is within Jesus himself. It is important for us to go to him moment by moment, asking him for his help. Even more than that, asking him to continually make us right, the rightness that is in him. You know, in this life, there is no perfect. But what we can be asking for and what we should be asking for is the permanency that is in Jesus Christ. Too often we're going to forget that. And even more when it looks at, when we look at the very fact of being made right, being made right in something and being made right once again. This is going to be an offensive thing to many people. And even more, it's going to be very offensive to many people in our family of faith as well. It's for us to choose how we're going to go and even more, how we're we going to respond as Jesus continues to ask us these questions. Today's verses come to us from Romans chapter 5, looking at verses 1 and 2. It says this, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we exalt in hope of the glory of God. Right there. We're being made right in Jesus. We're being made right in God's sight. What is it going to take for us right now to change our thoughts, to change our attitudes, to understand that being made right is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's for our best good. Our challenge continually should be to allow Jesus to control our thoughts, to control our minds, to control our actions, so that no matter what's going on, we will be continually ready for the moment when he makes us new. Thank you again for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's Word together. God bless.